Namaste everyone. Like I don't know where to start from. Hey guys, welcome and thank you for clicking. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Lillian. Call me Lily. There are two reasons I'm making this video. And maybe third reason, which is not very very important. Because even if I explain it, it's still not going to make any sense. But the very first thing that made me film this video is because a lot of people, especially my country people in Nigeria, have asked me via a lot of social media platforms and those that gave me calls, you know, those that have my phone number, we have talked about it, they want to move to Ghana. Some have said I should go ahead and look for houses for them. A lot of people have asked me, if I'm not mistaken, about more than families have you know ask me about this like two other people single ladies like me totaling six people that have asked um how to move to ghana and what they can be doing if they should and they also want to know why i moved to ghana the second reason is to correct something that you guys may have mistaken okay but let's go on with the first reason which is yeah the one i've stated for those of you that want to move to Ghana, I have said this before. I may not be able to go into your inbox and write you back one after the other. Some of you saw my videos about Ghana and when I relocated to Ghana and then you decided to contact me and ask me about it. So I have always been very honest with you guys. I do not have a paying job here in Ghana. I do not work with the Ghanaian government. I own a shop here. I do not own any nine to five job. I do not own any business here in Ghana. I am not on salary living here in Ghana. Okay, I know that. I am on salary, but my salary is strictly from YouTube. Yeah, I make my income from making videos. Like this video you're looking at right now, this is where I'm generating money from to take care of myself and my kids so if you want to move to Ghana do not do not do that because really move Ghana is Africa and not just Africa is West Africa and all of you know our struggle on this continent you know that we are still struggling so leaving your own country to another man's country without proper background check without proper planning is is, is risky in my case I was able to take the risk because i wouldn't even call it risk like it, there was evidence that if i'm living here it's going to make more sense for me on youtube than staying back home in nigeria so if i just continue to ignore everyone ignore the shades ignore the questions ignore everything it will look like i'm not being fair to my Ghanaians brothers and sisters because i know they're also struggling as long as we are in africa especially west africa so i wouldn't i don't want to act like Ghanaians are having it all going for them. That is a mistake some of you are making. I, in case I have ever made you guys believe that life in Ghana is paradise, or I made you believe that if you don't have a job in Nigeria, you can move to Ghana, you're going to find one. I want to please apologize for that. I am not working with anybody. Okay, now let me break it down for you. Why I took the risk to come, Will I call it a risk? Okay, why I decided to move to Ghana is because I have seen evidence on my channel. It was not profiting me to stay back in Nigeria. The first time I came, which is last year, when I came back and my channel started to open up and I started to generate income, I was getting somewhere around $300 to slightly more than that some months. And then I went back to Nigeria because that still was not enough for me to live in Ghana with two kids and other family responsibilities. So it wasn't gonna be enough for me. So I went back to Nigeria thinking that with that 300 threshold of mine on YouTube, I can be okay in Nigeria with my kids. Because yeah, we all believe that Nigeria is less expensive than Ghana. On getting back to Nigeria, I realized that I was struggling to hit at least my threshold, which is 100 US dollar per month before YouTube can pay you. So I was struggling to hit that because a lot of things happened. My, I became inconsistent due to just natural struggle like back home. 
I wasn't getting electricity so I spent half of my time complaining about that and by the time I got solar system installed in my house I started to film my channel just wasn't doing well I completely understand why my channel wasn't doing well I'm talking about Ghana in all of my videos like my channel I create my content around Ghana the lifestyles here and um, beautiful sights so it wasn't even making sense i'm talking about ghana and i'm living in nigeria the reason i was even able to still hit my hundred dollar threshold is because of my personality a lot of people came on my channel from my ghana videos and then they stuck with me and they decided to stay there and support me anyways so it wasn't making any sense for me to struggle to reach hundred dollar so i decided to leave my kids and then come back alone i wasn't coming back alone to come to live in ghana no that was not my plan my plan was to come back make some money send to my kids take care of myself go back and maybe buy a camera or something just improve our lives back home what i was thinking is i wasn't going to be with my kids as i would want to because I may have to be traveling to Ghana and then leaving them in Nigeria and then always sending support and always going home because I didn't know that I was going to be able to get my own apartment this soon. So on getting back here and then God decided to break me through, like he decided to help me. I came back at the right time because I came back around Easter and then a lot of people told me about Kohu and then on getting to Kohu, Kohu helped my channel to trend. Do you understand so i made a lot of videos and that helped me to generate um some income and like i made quite not bad amount of money from the cool videos that was enough to do some things that i've been able to do so far some things okay not all some things that i've been able to do so far and then when i went to cool and came back i see that as long as I'm in Ghana, my channel wasn't doing badly. Even though I wasn't earning as much as I earned during the cold trip, cold Easter period, my channel is still not bad. Whatever I'm earning can sustain me and the kids. Like to eat food without me having to go depressed, thinking of how I'm going to feed them. Why should I continue to go back home and live there because it's cheaper? and while i'm not earning anything i'm like okay it's better for me to come back to ghana with my family whatever we can earn we we'll eat it the worst that will happen is that i'm not saving money yes no problem but we are surviving my kids at least one of them for now is in school and we are eating three square meals which is not bad and we are not didn't come to ghana because ghana is better than nigeria okay here to be honest the lifestyles in ghana here is different from back home here i have always said this even though some people don't want to hear there is electricity here in ghana as a nigerian ghana will look like paradise to you especially a nigerian of my class i'm not from a rich home i've never tested wealth before in my life all my life i've always struggled to take care of myself and take care of people that depend on me for me i can proudly say ghana offers me better opportunities than nigeria it doesn't mean that I said Ghanaians are not struggling. It doesn't mean that I said that you should come to Ghana. Do you understand? There are no goats here that you can just go to the streets and pick. If you do not have a job, don't come here. If you are lucky and your company back in Nigeria or any other country decide to post you to Ghana, it's good for you because they are going to provide accommodation and other expenses. It's going to make living here a bit less expensive for you. Living in Ghana is not for the faint-hearted, but for me, I would rather live here, work all of my money, and use it to take care of myself and my kids, than to go back to Nigeria where I'm not making any, where I'm struggling because it's cheap. I have to go back there or to live there to prove to anyone that, uh, after all, Ghana is not better than Nigeria. I will not be doing that. So in case you want to come to Ghana, Please, don't say you moved to Ghana because of me, okay? If I inspired you, always ask questions. And I like the fact that some people have been asking, how do you do it, how do you get... For me, because I'm earning, whatever I'm earning comes to US dollar. Do you understand? So even when there's increments on prices of things out there, 
my whatever I earn is still going to meet up. I mean, the more dollar increase, the more things outside increase. So whatever I'm spending is still going to meet up. I don't know how to explain that. So don't come to Ghana solely because I did, okay? I did because I can say like I live here, I'm not, I do not have any business with the world out there. I can decide not to go out for two days, except for the fact that I must go out to buy, buy food, bring it to the house, go here, get this and come back. I do not wake up in the morning, get dressed, go to work to make money or I do not get up in the morning, dress up to go out there to just, you know, anyhow, anything to bring home. I don't know that way here in Ghana. So if you want to come to Ghana, if, even if you have all your immigration papers complete and you want to live here, if you do not have a good, well-paying job, it's going to be difficult. I've heard that before. Oh, why would you go to Ghana? It's too expensive. How was I living in Nigeria that is not expensive without any money? So is it not better for me to live in a country that is expensive, but I'm making something enough to eat rather than go back to my own country and live there because it's cheaper? I don't know if it makes any sense. So please, okay, I have made videos about these things, but it's like some, some people are not interested. They don't want that part of explanation. They just want assumption and this is why I'm playing the hair today. The second reason I am making this video is to let my Ghanaians friends and family know that I understand their struggle. It is not rosy anywhere. In case it has looked like a foreigner came here and is enjoying life, oh, so why are we not? If you are not, it's not that. Do you understand? That is because whatever support you guys are giving me, it comes from outside of Ghana. It comes in the United States dollar. So even if I'm earning like a hundred dollar and someone is earning 700 CDs or five, someone is earning 1,000 CDs and I'm earning 100 US dollar, if there are increase, increase on prices of things or you never can tell, dollar can just decide to go up as higher as, you know, 800 CDs, do you understand? I'm still going to be able to survive because my money is always going to rise alongside the cost of living. So I want you guys to know that I totally understand your struggle. Nowhere in Africa is easy. That is why when you move to your Western countries, a lot of people will throw a party. A lot of people will respect your family. A lot of people will congratulate you for moving to Canada or maybe the United States or the UK. That is because they know that there are jobs opportunities in these countries that have mentioned. Now, if you are moving from Ghana to Nigeria, I cannot tell. But if you are moving from Nigeria to Ghana solely, solely with the aim of looking for the work, I cannot guarantee you that. I have always said it. It's not like I'm saying completely that there are no jobs out there. I cannot tell you because I don't know because I have, have never attempted to get one and I do not have any currently. The only job I have now is sitting in front of my mobile phone talking to you, you know, living my life anyhow, my perfect life with you guys and you guys come here to watch and I get something little to feed my kids and myself. So darlings, I understand your struggle completely. It is not rosy here in Canada. Third reason why I'm making this video is because a lot of Nigerians believe that as a Nigerian lady that is not married or is not living in Ghana with her husband, what you are here for is prostitution. That is, I see that a lot on the comment section and I don't used to feel bad about it. I totally understand. And some of the time, most of the time, people telling me that are women, especially when I do something they are not in agreement with, the first name they call me is uh, Shawugana, which is totally okay, no problem. So they believe that every lady in Ghana is into prostitution. I don't know why you think like that. Some will even go as far as telling me, I have been to Ghana before. I know what you are there for. 
okay maybe you came to ghana to do that it doesn't mean that all the ladies in ghana that is what they are doing it doesn't mean that's why we are here so i'm not here for that okay if i'm here for that i'm going to own it up hmm? at least defrauding other people of their hard-earned money and causing them depression that leads to their death is worse than prostitution please i'm not encouraging anyone to indulge in that i'm just saying but to be honest with you i don't even have time to keep a man one man i don't have time to keep him because there's no time trust me because i do not have other businesses that i do alongside youtube i have dedicated all my time to youtube i make videos on a daily basis it is a lot of work the first thing i do in the morning i wake up five o'clock in the morning I get my daughter prepared for school get her ready and take her to the gates where the school boss come and fetch her once she goes i come back to quickly sweep the house that is on a very good day if the sister is still sleeping i am a nursing mother so if the little baby is sleeping i will quickly sweep everywhere clean up what i want to clean up and then before she wakes up then i continue you know what it means to raise a toddler to be a nursing mother to a toddler it is not an easy thing right now she's not in this video because someone is helping me behind the scenes you are not seeing that but if they allow her to come here into this place she's not going to let me film so which time do i have to do all these things give her her bath feed her feed myself bath myself you know just basically do the house chores then after that which time do i have for to go out there to look for men i cannot keep one man one right now because there's no time i don't think there's any guy that is willing to stay with me or want to date me right now because then I, I won't be i won't be able to satisfy his needs of wanting to see me when he misses me right now i cannot offer that because i am a nursing mom it looks all simple and rosy on youtube but, but my life behind the scenes is hard i'm not complaining i love my life right now at least i've gone past the stage where i was doubting myself like i wanted to just end it all right now i'm at that stage where opportunity have been presented to me youtube had helped me and god bless motherland ghana they have given me a platform to to make money feed me and my kids so it's up to me now to sit down here and lament or pick up my phone and make the little little coins that i'm making to sustain me and my kids and keep me away from all those things that you guys think i'm probably doing so i hope that we clear the hair so if you want to move to ghana don't do it because i did okay and i hear this a lot of people people saying a lot of people are depressed in ghana even in the uk people are depressed people are depressed in the united kingdom okay people are depressed in canada people are depressed in america it is not easy anywhere the increments in prices of food or whatever you see or anything is global it's not just in ghana or not just in nigeria people say nigeria is cheap i have lived in nigeria and i am here living in ghana it wasn't cheap for me living in nigeria even with the fact that i wasn't living this lifestyle that i'm living right now it was still not easy for me it was it was still not easy for me you get it so if i'm here and i'm feeling comfortable it's not i'm not trying to say nigeria is bad or you guys um uh, how, will you, how will you leave nigeria to ghana in search of opportunities i didn't come to ghana in search of opportunities i came to ghana to embrace opportunities that had been given to me by almighty god so please don't always let your life be based on another person's life is you're going to make mistakes trust me you're going to make mistakes it's not easy anyway people in nigeria are depressed people here some people are depressed the good thing about Ghanaians is that they may not complain they are not like us that want to own the whole world at once so it's a step at a time for them so you cannot make everything look like Ghana is paradise and that is nobody's fault all right so as you can hear the sound, I have to end this video here. I will see you guys in my next one. Bye-bye.